Hi there, Pam Coburn Litvak here. Have you ever wondered how the food you eat creates the feelings you feel? In part three of my series on food and mood, you and I will discover exactly how to feed the emotional brain. This is important to understand because eating the right foods will help us make the brain chemicals we need to support good brain function. But not eating the right foods can create a shortage of these chemicals, causing the brain to tumble into a downward spiral of irritability, depression, and anxiety. The first brain chemical is serotonin. Serotonin is our primary feel-good chemical because it lifts our mood, helps us feel more equal to handling stress, and relaxes us. Serotonin is involved in a lot of stuff in the brain. Analytical thinking, decision-making, memory, eating, and sleeping. At night, the brain converts serotonin into melatonin, the chemical that sets our internal clocks and helps us get a good night's rest. Too little serotonin can make us feel sad, empty, on edge, frustrated, or anxious. You and I may have problems remembering things, or sleeping well at night, or staying calm in stressful situations. Depression often involves a shortage of serotonin, and for this reason, one type of antidepressant drug, the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, selectively target serotonin in the brain, increasing the amount available for healthy thinking and feeling. But we can certainly help this process along by making the right food choices. We want to make sure that our diet includes the building blocks the brain uses to make serotonin. And the main building block that it uses is an essential amino acid called tryptophan. Research studies show that tryptophan is helpful for treating PMS, depression and seasonal affective disorder, and insomnia. And the good news is, the best sources for tryptophan are also good for making the next two brain chemicals we want to talk about. Links to nutritional information for all three can be found in the description for this video. The second is dopamine. Dopamine is our pleasure pursuit chemical because it helps us feel motivated to pursue rewarding goals and things that give us pleasure, like working on hobbies or playing our favorite games. Too little dopamine can make life feel colorless and gray. We may lose interest in our work, our hobbies, and our relationships. Dopamine is also necessary to make the third brain chemical, norepinephrine. Norepinephrine is a stress buster because it gets released during times of stress. Too much norepinephrine can make us feel jittery and over-anxious. On the other hand, too little norepinephrine puts the brain into a biochemical slump, making us feel foggy and unfocused. We can make both dopamine and norepinephrine from the same stuff in the diet, an amino acid called tyrosine. So to make enough serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine, we need adequate amounts of two amino acids, tryptophan and tyrosine. And the good news is, both of these come from the same dietary source, high-quality proteins. This includes poultry, like chicken or turkey, fish, like salmon or tuna, soybeans and soy products, like tofu, beans and legumes, nuts and seeds, and whole grains, especially oats and brown rice. If chicken or fish are used, it's best to buy organic sources. And also, you should watch out for mercury contamination in fish. The best fruit and vegetable sources are sweet potatoes, spinach and other dark leafy greens, green peas, broccoli, and avocados. There's a little more you should know about feeding the emotional brain. For one thing, the small chemical factories in our minds that make brain chemicals, what we call enzymes, also rely on other nutrients to run properly. A short list would include the B vitamins, omega-3 fatty acids, and minerals, including magnesium, calcium, and zinc. Eating complex carbohydrates can improve the amount of amino acids that actually reach the brain in order to be converted into brain chemicals. So eating a diet high in high-quality protein, fruit and vegetables, whole grains, and healthy fats will help you reach these nutritional goals. And there are a couple of other things that you can do as well. Get some sun. Vitamin D is needed to optimize the function of serotonin in the brain. The body can make its own supply of vitamin D as long as we get exposed to sunlight. So try to get between 5 and 30 minutes of good sun exposure every day. Also, exercise regularly, because exercise makes the brain more sensitive to serotonin. Please like and share this video. 
and take a few seconds right now to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.